Well, we have with us the beautiful actress. She has done a phenomenal performance in this film, and definitely we are missing Vidhu Jamwalia. I'm talking about none other than Khuda Afiz actress Shivalika Obray. Welcome you. to Bollywood Life. Thank you, thank you. We are definitely missing Vidhu Tiyo. Yeah, at present, yar. Yeah. He has done actually. He definitely played very well, and of course, uh, same it applies to you as well. You have done a phenomenal performance, and everything was done really well. And in fact, I have seen this movie. I loved it personally. I and my family and enter, the entire family was watching this film, and we loved it. So, congratulations for that. I'm so glad. Yeah, we are getting a great response, and uh, I'm very happy that people. have noticed this film watched it right. and uh, made it pro- like mine and vidyut's biggest opener so <laughs> my heart is like i'm too overwhelmed usually when film releases you get a chance to be a part of the trailer launch promotion success party lots of things but these are the major things i'm guessing like you're missing it very badly for sure <laughs> missing the success party i'm missing the <laughs> um i'm missing meeting people meeting my fans meeting with your fans uh, all of that is a little miss also uh, we thought that this film is going to release in the theater so mere liye to ye dusri picture release hoti theater mein right. i was hoping that that would have happened and you know the experience would have been different because the song right. was so nice i was wanting to you know go on city tours and you know dance with people and make them your what their reaction is but sadly because of covid hum sab ghar pe phase hain and uh, this i think was the best option to release on an ott platform and uh, i feel like it's done really well for us it's actually doing really well for us so maximum audiences ne already a film dekh chuke hain um it's been what four days and people have loved the film uh immediate response mil raha hai log logo right. uh terms use karna shuru kar diya hai national crush <laughs> so i'm <after> like <laughs> <laughs> totally humble definitely and uh, you know the observance is like you know when there is a release in the ott platform you get maximum audience than theater don't you think that i agree mujhe lagta hai ki audiences firstly aur kuch karne ko hai nahi apart from staying at home obviously doing your work office work from home and then uske baad you have the entire day free you have nowhere to go to so, log ultimately have been watching a lot of content on the ott and itna ho gaya tha ki log actually khatam ho gaya tha sab kuch dekh ke even for me maine itna dekh liya tha on uh, on the uh, ott platform on all platforms in fact maine sare shows dekh liye the sare movies rewatch kar liye the and i was like okay there is something new that needs to come now so right. i am very glad that this decision was taken and you know we gave something new to the audiences to watch well definitely and you know it's it's now the things got changed uh, entirely and uh, despite that we don't need to go to the cinema hall book the tickets now everything is like doing at home you just cast it on tv and watch the film the entire things has got changed and you know the way it sees like you are getting a fabulous response on social media as well because everyone i have seen like when when the review was coming up it was maximum of positive response but i would like to ask you one thing about it don't you think you got limited screen space for this film i mean i'm just uh, out of the blue ah, no no it's okay no so um i when i read the script uh, even this point i was came into my mind but to be very honest for me what matters is the content of the script the film and what my role is uh, the entire film at the end of the day revolves around this so i right. was quite happy that jitna bhi screen play space hai if i perform it well people will appreciate acknowledge it and will want to see me more so right. exactly jab release hua logo ne mujhe yehi message kiya hai that we wish that we saw you more you know we always right. wanted to see you in a in a scene like we were waiting ki now when you were to come on screen 
so you know that is amazing that shows that people have really appreciated my character and they wanted to keep seeing me on screen so my right. job is done uh limited screen space i i just believe one thing that in the past also there have been great actresses um who have had a smaller leg but they have done really well in life like right. these roles have become iconic roles so right. i think the length of the role does not matter what matters is if you leave a mark in the film and as for reviews i was really happy that people did mention this that you know yeah. show the role but you leave a mark so i am happy the audiences are also happy they appreciate it and upar se ending itni pyari hai picture ki that <laughs> right <laughs> i think everybody cried <laughs> Absolutely, and uh, it was very touchy scenes actually, and it felt like okay, there is something will going to happen with a twist with your action scenes and all everything. All are like very much excited to see. Ah, uh, on the other hand, right now, like you know, this is this was a week where it was like you know success week for you. Ah, uh, have have you got a chance to ah uh, uh, have you got a chance to speak with Vidyut for? i uh, like what all uh, things are happening around you because this is like a very big film and it has it's a major success you got a chance with the director actor you spoke to them it anything is, about it hamari hamari baat hui hai and parul uh, sir se vidyut um, kumar ji abhishek all of us have been constantly staying in touch and speaking and we've been kind of celebrating our success over phone calls right now ऑफकोर्स ऑफकोर्स वो तो बनता ही है अगर अभी नहीं तो कभी ना कभी एक बहुत बड़ा पार्टी तो होना ही चाहिए डेफिनेटली मैंने ये सोचा था कि इवन इफ वी कान रियली लाइक गो आउट एंड मीट द एंटायर क्रू लेकिन एटलीस्ट सम पीपल शुड मीट एंड यू नो डू समथिंग बिकॉज़ दिस इज लाइक अ माइलस्टोन एटलीस्ट इन माय लाइफ एंड बिकॉज़ के लिए पार्टनर हो ही गया है आफ्टर सो मेनी फिल्म्स दैट ही डन दिस ओपन अप फॉर हिम सो आई थिंक ये सेलिब्रेट तो डेफिनेटली करना चाहिए हमें Yeah, definitely. Or uh, we just want to ask you, like, you have shot this film in Oman, right? Uh, in Uzbekistan. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah. how was the overall experience over working in that particular country, and what all things have you gone through? If you've seen the film, the locations are beautiful. So, right. So, we have enjoyed. Like, I remember my full time of my phone. के साथ ऐसे रहती थी. Like on set also, I used to keep taking pictures of like the scenic view. <laughs> right. But our drives to set were beautiful. Uh, right. वहाँ पे तो मतलब जो लोग हैं locals हैं वहाँ के, they mistook me for being a Russian. So, <laughs> so, so, so they used to talk to me. They used to talk to me in Uzbeki language, their own language and Russian language. And right. And I used to revert back in English. So the, uh, <laughs> they used to be in shock. कि मतलब you're a local and you're talking in English because they don't know how to talk in English. में बात करते हैं. English में भी उनको translator on करके बस बोलना पड़ता है कि this is what we need to say. तो वहाँ पे तो मतलब they must be as a Russian. तो बहुत funny scenes थे that we used to go out and we used to you know go for dinners and all. And they used to randomly start talking to me in Russian, thinking that I'm like some translator for the team. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> so both we well, actually enjoyed. The place was beautiful. Right. We were all shooting in minus eight, minus nine degrees. Um, snow. And two days before only, you have released a video. On, I have seen yeah. that video as well, and we have used it on our Bollywood Life page as well. <laughs> oh, okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm telling you, like I think y'all can see that I'm walking uh, yeah. the umbrella and it's snowing and I'm yeah, just popping things up. <laughs> right. It was very <laughs> difficult like, scene. बहुत so basically it was snowing on one side and हम shoot कर रहे हैं trying to show Middle East sunny weather. Right. So so it was crazy <laughs> like we we all were shivering 
and Farooq sir kept telling us in the short, don't breathe, don't breathe, dhua raha hai, dhua raha hai. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm like, how do I act karu bina breathe kiye? <laughs> But it was good okay. fun. We all have really enjoyed shooting in this, like, you know, difficult temperatures. And efforts can be seen definitely. No doubt about it. And uh, there is one question which I would definitely like. It's like, I don't know whether it's a personal question or fan question or something. Uh, oh. There is one fighting scene, okay, where it has been covered in a very small place. See, Vidyut is not here right now. Can you please tell us how did you manage to shoot this? No, no, other interviews also. I have only spoken about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Spoken about it. Yeah, so we were shooting in a three foot corridor. Like, literally, right. it's not. Right. There were 50 to 60 people who were there, action people who were there. Yeah. Plus camera team, plus direction team, plus production team, plus hair, makeup, all actors. <laughs> and we were shooting in it in such a place. And if you see the inside sequence, where he is asking, he is right. going through the right. folder of pictures and right. he sees his line in the album. That we have shot in a small camera. That is what I am seeing clearly. <laughs> We shot the entire action sequences in a very, very cramped situation. There were yeah. technical difficulties. There were acting like acting ke liye jada space nahi thi. Um, right. Action ke liye jada space nahi thi. There were there was no space for movement over there. So, मतलब ऐसे होता था after a point of time that sixty से लोग ज़्यादा हो गए ना मतलब fighters, fighters, right. action sequence चल रहा है. We had to start cutting down people. Like we, right. we had to. Start Telling people that you know, my helpers, they, my hair and makeup, I used to keep telling them that. So basically, I'm not wearing makeup in that scene. Right. If you go to see under eye. No, but makeup, yeah, but I'll talk about the, that. That is what I was coming to. I was talking about costume. I mean, they were the group of people who were handling you, then with you, this fighting, so many things was happening at the same time. Yeah. So I am I'm actually, if you go to see in the scenes, um, it, throughout the film, I'm not really worn a lot of makeup. So uh, my hair and makeup people were crammed in the so I was telling my team that you know, you all stay out. If we need you all, we'll call you because in which ways it was getting so cramped up and so crowded. Right. But it was a fun, everybody was so cooperative, everybody has actually understood the dynamics of the entire place and they were right. से शूट किया है एक्शन डायरेक्टर ने इतनी सिंपली शूट किया हमने वो जो पूरे आई थिंक वी शॉट दैट एंटायर सीक्वेंस इन लाइक 3 डेज 3 डेज के साथ ओह फ्रिक एंड इट वाज अ लॉट बहुत इमोशनली टैक्सिंग था इट वाज नॉट ओनली एक्शन इट वाज मोर इमोशंस विद एक्शन वो जो हाथ छूटने वाला सीन है या ऑल ऑफ दैट हैड अ लॉट ऑफ इमोशन हाथ छूटते और बीच में से वो आ रहा है तलवार आ रही है Right, right. There was a lot of technicalities in this room. So Vidyut used to keep asking me. There was a point where I fall down. Right. I was actually conscious. All of that places, like Vidyut has been very careful. Like he's told me, this was the first time I was even being around people who are doing action. You know? Correct. Like there are people pulling us, pushing us. So for me, it was very difficult. This was my first experience of even being around people who are doing action. Right. So, Vidyut was very careful. Andy, the action director's team was lovely. Like, I have really, really enjoyed with them. And I have experienced this whole action on a very different level. So, right. So, it's amazing. That, uh, that, you know, few minutes is like, for us, it's like, Vidyut Jamwal, we are seeing as an action performer. And you were like handling a costume at the same time managing so many people around you but yeah i mean that scene was like epic and it's a very very difficult task i mean for, for the entire team for the entire team it was a very difficult task and a plus for you guys that you all have done really well okay so let's now let's we have spoken about your the entire film let's talk about your personal stuff now okay yes. so apart from acting what are your hobbies what are you into 
I do a lot of things apart from acting. I love dancing. I love horse riding. I love swimming. Um, I love watching things. To be very honest, if I was right. not somebody who um, would have made it where I am like today, right. I probably would be doing something in terms of traveling and you know, kind of watching films, doing something right. related to films only, uh, watching shows. Maybe I would have, you know, if I did not get a debut at the right time, I probably right. would have taken up a show. So <laughs> those are the little things that. Sorry, my dog has come. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. That will be cute moment though. Yeah. No, in case he starts barking, I'm just like. Him. <laughs> He's a puppy. So, yeah. so um, things like this, I really feel like. Um, has helped me like i feel travel has helped me to be what i am so that is right. a, that is another hobby um i love taking pictures i love right. taking pictures i think if you see my social media my face yeah. is very <laughs> absolutely absolutely <laughs> so i kind of yes. maintain that Okay, that's great to hear that because we want to know because there are people around like whenever we post out anything or whenever we publish content, we would like to know about this uh, actress, who is she, and all. So this is for the people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So you have just entered to the film industries and all, and we are like very much into reality shows as well. Okay. So in case if you get a chance to be a part of the reality show, it can be anything. Okay. Not precisely. I will talk about this show, or that show. But would you be interested for that? Of course, why not? I would be interested in a reality show. It was something genuine, like I'm right. not okay with you know um, scripted things. I'm not okay right. with pretending to be somebody else. I can't do that. I've never right. done that in my interviews. My interviews have always been very, very candid. I've been right. very real with my audiences. So I want to. I would have done a reality show. I would want to do a reality show only if. It was something to do with uh, being genuine on screen in reality. Right, right, right. And at a at a very young age, you have already acquired a lot of things. Congratulations for that. You are just like twenty five, <laughs> and you have done a lot of things. <laughs> But I've been working since I'm sixteen years old. Yeah, that is there. that is there yeah. okay uh, so uh, see right now our observance has been went to your facials expressions which you have given in khuda office and we all were like ye gori actress kon hai i mean my family <laughs> member doesn't know who is that gori actress so i was just telling because since we are a part of the media industry we know about the actress you just shivali ko i'll going to interview her very soon <laughs> so, <laughs> there is a very keen you know whenever new actress comes out we have to inform them okay they, they are the actors and all okay so there is a questions like uh, what are the like what, are you taking any sort of a precautions for your skin care because it always glows <laughs> No, no. Honestly, as an actor, you need to take care of your body, and your skin is a priority at all times. Um, right. Like I said, like I said, you never know what character needs uh, what of you. Like Nargis, the right. uh, character that I played in Khuda, right. required no makeup. So if right. you notice, in almost in every scene, I have actually put no makeup. It's just very basic. Like a lip liner or a lip gloss, yeah, and like just something to do with hair mostly because my hair has been tied at most most of the times. Right. So I have actually taken care of my skin a lot, but because the conditions yeah. were so difficult, all of that really matters. What you eat really matters, and of course, change of weather and you know, like change right. of food really matters about how your skin kind of reacts to certain things. Um, right. Apart from that, what I religiously do is cleanse my face very regularly. Um, right. I make sure that I do visit the dermat on a regular occasion because right. uh, there are some things that maybe we don't know but they know. Um, so they can always help you with that. Uh, but to be very honest, genetically, uh, I would say that my parents have had great skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, i'm just blessed i would say thoda dhyan to dena hi padta hai because pollution and everything really affects your skin very badly 
Um, apart from that, you need to keep scrubbing your face, cleansing your face, using face packs, and most importantly, using more organic things and not chemical based things. Right, right. So even, even, even on a daily basis, like I don't use foundation on my face at all. Like, okay. Oh no. Uh, I, I remember on shoot, uh, I had reached uh, on set. Uh, fully ready and uh, Farad sir was like, uh, Shalanika, uh, why have you put foundation for the scene? I was like, I'm not put foundation. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, sir used to very randomly, I'm like, sir, I have good skin days and I have bad skin days. So, <laughs> you'll be able to see it on screen when you're on edit. <laughs> so, there are many times that people have actually said that, you know, uh, uh, you don't have the lighting on set. <laughs> yeah, that is true actually. <laughs> <laughs> that is true actually. <laughs> but it really, it really matters. I think um, apart from only actors taking care, you know, taking care of their skin, I think that everyone, like irrespective of a guy or a girl, should cleanse karna chahiye. And most importantly, I don't think people really know yet what their skin type is. Right. Well, I don't think like normal people really know that whether they have oily skin, sensitive skin, dry skin, that matters. So once right. you know that you have dry skin or oily skin, you can take like precautions accordingly. Well, absolutely. You have, I mean, this is like a message to all the audience. If yeah. you want a glowing skin like Hiwali Cobra, this is the recommendation. <laughs> Okay, okay, so there is a one small uh, research we did about you. Uh, as yeah. per your history, you had a lot of pimples and we heard, okay, I mean, it's like, it's like we get some information from the net and all. So would you, I mean, how did you manage to get a glowing skin? I mean, by rubbing off all the pimples and all. No, no, so like I said right now that my parents have had great skin and to be very honest, touch wood, I'm gonna like touch wood. Because uh -huh. I've had great skin, like till the age of 20, I did not know what skincare was. Okay. So, so I've realized what skincare is very recently and I've okay. realized it's very important. So when I did not know what skincare is, I used to realize that, you know, I am very allergic to like pollution. I'm very allergic to like dust, you know, things right, like Right, right. Yeah, so if I don't take care of my skin, then I see right. some breakout, some redness happening. Then right. I realize that now is the time I need to visit a dermat and kind of fully <laughs> understand what you have to do for sensitive skin. So right. all of that procedure happened and then after that I kind of realized that you have to, you can't have no skincare routine. You need to have right. some skincare routine to, you know. Because we as actors put makeup on a daily basis when we have shoot. And uh, right. taking that entire makeup off, ha ha that needs to happen. Like there are some times when um, makeup just stays and it kind of penetrates in your pores. That can create acne. So those are very little, little things that really need to take, like we need to take into consideration. Well, uh, that's definitely, I mean, your tips will definitely going to work out for us. And also from the sources, we heard that you are also taking care of your fitness. So you are like going out for a jogging and all. Since you don't have any option for gym, so you are like, yeah. help, I mean, you are thinking of something, utilizing your fitness in some or the other way. Would you like to elaborate about it? Yeah, so uh, during the lockdown, because we could not step out, there were no chances of gym, going to the gym. And no right. chance of running around in your building. So what I have done is I had started mat pilates, I had started yoga at home. And I right. used to make sure that I do, I take out at least some part of my day, if not early in the morning, like during the lockdown, I think all of us have woken up really late and started right. working out towards the evenings. So I have also done that. I used to mostly work out towards the evenings. Um, like right during sunset, like I used to start working out when the sun is setting so that I can, you know, nicely enjoy my yoga while looking at the sunset. So I have done all of that and uh, okay. I think yoga, mat pilates has really, really helped me. I started doing cardio at home. I have no uh, machines at home. I have no weights at home. I don't have anything at home. Like I have only done, I just have one mat. So I've done right. whatever workout I have done 
only on the Mac, and I've obviously like you know YouTube a few uh, exercises, YouTube few mm. cardio and hit sessions, and that's how I have kind of stayed fit during the lockdown, and I think it's really really helped. Thank you so much for this health care and skin. I mean, whatever the tips you have given, it will definitely going to work out for our fan followers. <clears throat> so, uh, we we would like to talk about your upcoming ventures. You have anything as such? I have a lot of interesting scripts that have come to me. Uh, I would say like very recently, uh, after Khudaaf is released, I think these wow. four days. Wow. Yeah, in these four days only, I have received so many scripts and I have been given so many auditions uh, that hopefully right. something will happen soon. And they're all great content and great scripts, so I'm really, really excited to talk about it. Would you like to give anything like whatever you have worked on on this, abhi, or it's a sign abhi, of contract? Abhi tak nahi. Actually, because of the lockdown, like things are very, very slow, and you know, it's not yet reached that level. But it right. is somewhere. So when something is, you know, locked or something is more clear, I'll be able to share. Would you like uh, anything like you would like to talk about? Like I want to work with this actor any anyhow. That is my target. Anything as such? I want to work with Aishman Khurana. I want to work with Ranveer Singh. I want to work with Rajkumar Rao. I want to work with Akshay Kumar. I want to work with a lot of people. <laughs> Ranveer Kapoor. <laughs> I mean, my list can go hmm. on. Uh, I want to work with Kartik Aryan. Definitely, like I am really interested to do uh, great content, great films, all kind of genres. I have no barrier right. in terms of the kind of films I want to stick to. I don't mind doing based on real events again. I don't mind doing a rom com. I don't mind doing a comedy film. You know, so I have not kept myself in a barrier. I'm open to everything. Well, thank you so much for all the updates which you have given, and I am hoping that whatever you get, you it will definitely going to be a success for you. Thank you so much. I am hoping the same. The audiences have been receiving uh, and supporting me quite a lot, and uh, I am very very happy. From my debut film to now, I have actually seen how people have shown uh, the appreciation and the recognition that they've given. So it means a lot. Right. Thank you so much, Shivalika, for your precious time, and wish you all the very best for your upcoming ventures. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. It was lovely chatting with you. Same here. Same here. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.